COVID-19 has left millions of Americans without a job. There are still unemployed workers in Maryland not receiving unemployment checks. While the governor says the troubled online system has been fixed, some lawmakers in Prince George's County tell us they're still getting calls from people wondering how they're going to eat and live without that check. Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins is looking into the issue tonight. You have never been unemployed before. This is a new experience for you. A very new experience. Taki Corley is a stagehand who does wardrobe for plays and productions around the Washington region. COVID hits and they sent everybody home. She's a gig worker who's entitled to unemployment in Maryland. But in late April, her check stopped. She's been calling the state to figure out why ever since. I've called over 1,700 times. You can start calling at 7, but you have to be up by 6.50. Even by 6.55, the lines are already busy. It's the number one constituent issue right now. Delegate Eric Barron of Prince George's County co-authored a letter to Maryland Governor Larry Hogan asking he fix the state's broken online system and hire more call staff. When the state is hit, uh, we're hit as a county even harder, uh, and people of color tend to be hit even harder. Literally, this is life and death, uh, as much as the, the virus itself is. If people don't get their checks, they can't live. We see hundreds of people every week. They are not receiving unemployment. Walter Simmons, president of Employee Prince George's, says the county's more than 79,000 unemployment insurance claims are among the highest in the state. I'm hearing horror stories of people that haven't worked since February are yet to see unemployment. Chucky says, for now, she's focused on making ends meet. So my family is making sure that I'm okay. Like, without them, who knows where I would be. Tracy Wilkins, News 4. Now, here is Working For You in Action. Tracy has been in contact with the governor's office today for a response on this woman's story. She got action today. A spokesman for the governor released this statement saying the pending issue with this claim, which involved misreporting by the claimant's last employer, has now been resolved and the missing weeks will be processed tomorrow. To handle the unprecedented surge in new claims and the implementation of three new federal programs, our Department of Labor has more than doubled call center staffing. As a result, there are no fewer than 200 individuals taking incoming calls from claimants at any given time. If you want help, go to our NBC Washington app and send us an email. The World Health Organization has temporarily...